Inside this video right here, we're gonna talk about exactly what end title CO2 is. What is it? Let's talk about it. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach back here with another video. Inside this video, we're gonna be talking about end title CO2. Now, if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. This is everything EMS medicine related, emergency medicine, so let's talk about it. Now, end title CO2, what it means, what it means is exactly what I said. End title carbon dioxide. Now let's talk about end tidal CO2, okay, what this means. Well, it means, if we think about it, what's the exhaled carbon dioxide that the patient is exhaling? And we're getting a measurement of that, okay? Now, a normal end tidal CO2 in a patient is 35 to 45. That's just a number you have to know, okay? So the next thing I wanna talk about is why we use it. Okay, why do we use this in the first place? Now, there's really three main core reasons. There's many reasons, but I want to give you the main three of why we use it. First is a respiratory patient. Somebody with asthma, COPD, heart failure. Okay, this is super important to get them on end tidal CO2 readings so I can see what's going on. I can actually see bronchospasm by a waveform, and I'll show an example of what it looks like here, of what it actually looks like. It's called a shark fin waveform. So I can see bronchospasm, and I can hear it in the patient as well, and I can see if it's getting better if it squares out with treatment. How cool is that? The other thing it, we use n CO2 for is cardiac arrest. So, two things in cardiac arrest. One, is I can see the quality of my CPR by the number of my end tidal CO2. The second thing inside of cardiac arrest is, my, most importantly, and this is really the third thing, has to do with cardiac arrest, but really the third thing here is using it for innovation, confirmation. So end tidal CO2 is the gold standard to confirm that you have a tube in the trachea and not the esophagus. What this means? How is that? Well, think about it. Okay, carbon dioxide oxygen exchange occurs, you know, down in the airways, not in the stomach. So we're not going to get too, a, a very great reading being in the stomach. Okay. Now, if we're ventilating properly through our trachea placements, then hey, now we have a good strong end tidal CO2 with oxygen, carbon dioxide being exchanged. Now we can ventilate our patient the best way possible with an ET tube. Now, before I go, I want to give you a bonus tip about end tidal CO2. Now, I told you earlier that the normal range is 35 to 45, but what if the number's too high? Or what if the number's too low? What does that mean? Here's what it means. If the number is too low, that is actually a sign of hyperventilation. Okay, and I'll show an example here of hyperventilation with end tidal CO2. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is hypoventilation. Okay, and I'll show an example of that here. So, hypoventilation will commonly think about a patient who's in respiratory failure. Okay, with hypoventilation, they're breathing too slow, they're hypoventilating. Breathing too fast is hyperventilation. Okay. So the way that I remember it is I think about an anxiety attack versus respiratory failure. Pretty cool. That's the best way to remember the hyper and the hypo. Remember, hypo is a higher number, hyper is a lower number.
If you're getting ready for EMT or medic school, or maybe you're struggling right now inside a class and you wanna finally understand the why behind what you're learning in class, or maybe you're studying for your NREMT boards, you're trying to use the best study tools available. I have a solution for you. It's called the Paramedic Coach Course with the brand new NREMT Accelerator Review Program. Now it's a video and audio program if you like to study video and audio instead of going through giant textbooks to study. It's a study tool that you can use to maximize your time. Thank you everybody for your kind words, liking, subscribing. I'm humbled and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Really enjoyed you being able to act as if you were really treating a patient and doing hands-on with a patient rather than sitting in front of a lecture board or a PowerPoint or whatever. The, the stuff that you do, um, it's incredible. Um, I, I couldn't teach people the way you do. Um, and you understand that not everyone can learn by sitting in a class and reading out of a book. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that, and I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that.